Mm. Oh, you like that, dude? You know I do. Oh, I think you better read the flow. Yeah. You want to hear that flow? Yeah. You want to hear that flow? Yo, D, go. Huh. Yeah, yeah. We back again. We back again, yo. Mm. I don't know where this beat's going. I don't give a shit. Go, man. Go, D. Go, go, go. Here's the flow, yo. Check it out. I'm in the studio with my man, BT. We want the money, yo. Yeah. It feels good to be back again. I love kicking it with my best friend. Yeah. BT. Malik. Yeah. DC. Uh-huh. No Wyatt. No Wyatt. No Wyatt. No Wyatt. Adorite. Wyatt. Wyatt. Don't care. Wyatt. Don't care. Wyatt. Wyatt. Yo. Yeah, looking out the window. Uh. I'm trying to get a smooth flow. Mm. Trying to think, where's this gonna go? Yeah, I wanna go slow. Wanna hit the beat on time. Cause Dion don't think BT can rhyme. Yeah, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna keep flowing and going and going and going and going. Whoa, why I'm rowing? Ain't no. <laughs> damn, I was doing well. I was doing well, was I not? You were okay. You you sped up for no reason. I know. I'm always. <laughs> I love how you said I want to go slow and then proceeded to not do what you just said you were gonna do. I know, man. I know. I'm gonna go slow, but not this time because I gotta go. <laughs> well, oh, jeez. I know. I know. I was. I mean, you, you know what you were like? What was that? Like that dude on the the, the motorcycle <laughs> who starts to shake. You're like, oh fuck. <laughs> no, I'm like the dude. Who, Once you get the wobbles, you're not coming. No, I'm like the dude. Who's like, okay, tonight, baby, we're gonna make love. <laughs> you get in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, once, once that feeling hits, man, oh, it's the greatest feeling in the world. That, oh, that wet, wet. When you, when you stick it in and you know there's nothing you can do. Oh, you go, it's over. You know it's over. I can't defend against this. <laughs> it's like as soon as you taste that fucking jab, yeah, this fight's going to be like over. It's like it's literally not, not can do. <laughs> we don't have the power. They're all coming from all sides. I don't know what to do. Get in. Oh, shit, it's over. <laughs> First like, yeah, baby, we gonna, oh, God damn it. <laughs> can you, see me? Yeah. you stick it in and you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, that wet, wet. Oh. You can tell it's been a while. I'm like, oh. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, that's a good feeling when I had it. It's, it's like uh, when they shoot the torpedo. You motherfucker, you done killed us. <laughs> you done armed it too soon. That's what it's like. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Ah, the good old days. Oh, the good old days. Damn. Yeah, man. There's yeah. nothing I can do to defend myself. <laughs> uh, you want to go eat? <laughs> want to go to Denny's? <laughs> no, just get my fucking clothes, BT. This is one of those where you just start lying immediately. Mm. That don't, that normally, uh, I've never had that happen. Uh, yeah, it's never happened to me before. Damn, girl. Mm. She's like, mm-hmm. I remember, I remember this one time. <laughs> This is one time I was I was about to have sex with the chick for the first time, right? So I was like, I'm gonna beat my meat so I can last longer. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Shit didn't work. Really? Didn't work at all. Really? That it was just a smaller nut <laughs> <laughs> than the <a> solo joint. <laughs> I, was well, probably, I was probably in there for like maybe two and a half, three. That's a fail. Like, oh shit! There's a failed scientific experiment. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Doesn't I've work. never. I, I heard about that after the fact, but I was still like, nah, I'm yeah, good. it doesn't work. I, but you know what? I couldn't. I, there's no way yeah, in the world I could do that good. because for some reason, if I be like, if I, I'm good, I'm I'm good for a really really good one. But after that, man, good luck. I mean, I'm good for a really good one, no, but I, I feel you. But, but the older you get, two is harder to come by. Well, it, well, especially back in the day, because I was using condoms back in the day. So I mean, I was like, you know, and, and to get hard again and with a condom on. And women, for some reason, women don't really know about the penis or how to get you a bed. They just think them being naked is enough. And you go, you got to work with me. You got to, you know. Yeah, I need some uh, stimulation. Yeah, and they just think, okay, I'm naked. Women, you know, you women be lazy with the affection. Well, women sometimes. are very lazy. Mm-hmm. But women are very lazy I'm, with the affect, like. I don't mind you just laying there if I'm going to put in the work. Right? I do. But after I put <laughs> in the work, you can't be lazy again. You know what I mean? You can be lazy the first time. But the second time is, you know, I got to tag in my partner. You got to come in <laughs> But you, you, know, you, ever one, you ever had one that's not lazy? You go, okay, be careful what you wish for. Like, you're holy shit. Absolutely. She turns you over like, oh, boy, here we go. Turn Actually, over. that's kind of refreshing. I mean, I like when they, you know, they fucking, yeah. And they send you a whoa, whoa. Or the best. Why, why would she be turning me over? Well, I mean, like, okay, like, like you're, on t- you're on top. And she, and she flips you. I mean, like, then she gets on top. Oh, she rolls over. Yeah, she rolls over. And yeah, yeah. I remember one, like, we were in like, some condo. I think it was in Iowa, like at Davenport or whatever. And I remember, like, the, like, it's always, you know, late night. And it's an apartment complex. You know, the condo is. And you hear that. You know, like shut up. I mean, somebody at the door. Yeah, no, somebody's uh, like you know the the, na- the uh, downstairs. No. Or, yeah, they're all bitching about the, the noise. Know my name, baby. Yeah, like hey man, fuck it. You, you know hey, what? You, hey, you know what you signed up for in an apartment complex? 
<laughs> right? Don't you? Yeah. You know what you signed up for in an apartment complex? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the city of the hotel, <laughs> you should just say, fuck a complaint. The city of the hotel. If, it, I, honestly, if it's below, if it has a number in it, then you shouldn't be complaining. Like, like, sir, like a Super 8, Motel 6, or Lucky 3, I mean, whatever it is. Or, or <laughs> Spanish in the title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> La Quinta. La Quinta translates into I can hear you. <laughs> El Matador. <laughs> El Chito. <laughs> it's the truth. If it has a number in it, man, hey, you know what you signed up for. I've or been... if it's got best in the name. <laughs> <laughs> the Wild Wild West. <laughs> I just She's remember... sucking his six shooter. <laughs> I remember one time I... Uh... Oh! I heard a couple next door, and I heard, a, uh, uh, and then for some reason it was like one of those things where like I couldn't sleep, so I went and got whatever something to eat and came back, and then she was just leaving that uh, that room and we kind of waved at each other. I was like, ah, it was kind of cool. So um, my my girl was uh, this is long long time ago. I think it was just turned twenty one. She was leaving for the military, right? So they they got a hotel, but it was her last day, and she was shipping out of here. So I got a, I rented a fucking super eight which was across the street from her nice ass hotel i couldn't go to the hotel because like all the army uh people were there yeah so before she had to like report in we were at the hotel man ugh, we literally had sex for like six seven hours we ordered pizza nice waited for the pizza to get there we were having sex nice <laughs> pizza man comes i'm in a towel and nothing <laughs> else it's like keep the change she rips the towel out we fucked the pizza was cold i'm like man we should have just ate that pizza when it was hot we were just having a lot of sex. Man, but the neighbors, <laughs> because we were having so much sex, the neighbors were like, are y'all okay in there? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like your 20s, Man, bro. I drove her back to the hotel, which was across. This is the slowest fucking. I didn't have no feeling in my <laughs> legs, bro. None whatsoever. We fucked in the shower, on the bed, oh, on the, the desk, cr- on the floor. Oh, on the floor? Ugh. Yeah. I'm a Motel 6? Yeah, man. Ugh. She, she's probably caught something. <laughs> no. She's got a baby, and it might not be yours. Caught my second, third win is what I can <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Knocking on the floor? it down, bro. Yeah, I bet, but on the floor? Hey, man, when you when you young, you don't give a shit. That's true. That's true. You no matter what the hotel. And then you get older, you go, It's not an older man. I can't believe you fucked on the floor of yeah. Motel 6. Like You moved the, like, the yellow tape and the chalk outline. <laughs> it was Super Eight, dude. I thought it was a shit when I had a Super Eight VIP card. <laughs> I had a Super Eight VIP card. Call me Mister Sixteen. <laughs> you couldn't <laughs> you could tell me shit. I was like, man, two more stays and I get it for free. I mean, man, it was back when uh, in Vegas. Uh, you know, Coval is like adjacent to the Strip. It's yeah. it runs parallel. And uh, man, I remember uh, staying at Super Eight on Coval. Like I went to Vegas just for for some reason, just for the weekend. And me, my, my my boy from here, Ron, we went there. And uh, and I had a super, I had a super, I had a VIP card. I pulled it out. Hold on, Ron, I get this. Kink! And I give it a super <laughs> VIP card. And he started laughing. And man, it was such a good ass time. That was when, like, when you're twenties and you're fucking like that, it's the greatest, man. isn't it? Skeet, skeet, skeet. And then my time, well, I mean, but you know what? My last, like, my last hoorah, like big hoorah, like I can't believe I fuck like that was up. Uh, Man, I remember I met this chick. It was in uh, they used to have a one nighter in um, uh, Lake of uh, Lake of the Ozarks, right? Uh, mm-hmm. It was right before you did um, um, uh, Deja Vu in, in Columbia, you know. So the, he had that one nighter at that sports bar, and I met this chick. She was like a teacher, I think, down in like uh, one of those countries, was poor, like Costa Rica, or some shit. BT love the kids, and she she, she, was, she was from there. Like she was from there, but she was there for like visiting, whatever. Man, I pulled a triple. I mean, that's how fine she was. I mean, me, I, tri- I was like, oh my God. I was like, whoa, man, this chick was hot. And I was like, and every time she get her pants on, I go, take the pants off. And like, we do it again. And then I even watched her walk down the hall when she left. And, and I thought, hey, come here. And I go, nah, I'm going to let it, you know, I don't want to throw bad dick. And I was like, take it easy. And I watched her walk. I go, oh, should I, should I go for four? I go, nah, that's cool. Yeah, you should have went for four. Dude, she was fucking. And, and that was, I tell, tell you how long ago this was. Like, I, we were MySpace friends. <laughs> <laughs> MySpace was the shit. But, man, we were, oh, that was good, bro. Man, I remember her. I, I kind of want to keep in touch with her. I mean, she was sexy. She She's was kinda, probably still your MySpace friend. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of funny. I think, I don't. I mean, it, it, it was what it was. Sometimes sometimes it's best left to memory because you might see them again. They might, you know, be a change. Like, hey, you remember me from, uh, like, it was like, that was when I was a different person. You know, Jesus said, oh, here we go. You know what I mean? And, yeah, well, and then, it, then it's like, oh, boy. I still try to what? see if I can still got it. Really? Sometimes I don't even be wanting to fuck. I just be wanting to know if you 
be like, yeah, he could get it. You know, you know what I like? You know what I want to do now? Honestly, I, I wish, and I, no girl's going to fall for this, but I actually mean it. I thought, like, especially on days like this when it's fucking freezing, all I want to do, man, is just, like, cuddle up with a bitch right now. I mean, like, butt naked in a bed. Like, we ain't got to have sex. We just cut, like, you know, put your arm around her and just feel that warm body and shit, maybe the titties rub against you. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I, 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 want, I mean, when I have sex, you I just, are so deprived. I am. Deprived. I really am. But that's what I want. I just want to lay with a bitch. Can I go to first base, please? <laughs> no. I just want to lay with a bitch I right now. I just need a single to get out of this phone. Dude, I think, I think a girl at the gym, the one I was talking about that I liked I, she, uh, like this morning, like, yeah, I think she was like, you know, do exercise or whatever. I think she was tired, like, whew, like she was kind of laying down. And I wanted so bad to just, go just lay, lay down, down next to her. <laughs> that would have been the most but, but horrible two, thing. But of two all things. Time. One, I don't think it was her. <laughs> and then two, yeah, that would have been a bad thing to do at fucking 6.30 in the morning. Like, hey. Ooh, I, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that is a bad thing to do. So <laughs> I just let it go. I was like, yeah, I better not do this. But man, I, I just felt like, well, lay with a bitch naked. And we ain't got to have sex. Just lay with it. I go, on a cold day like today? Fuck, man, that sounds good. No, nah, I'm not laying naked with just, you, and we're not fucking. Just want to lay with a bitch That's right now. absolutely man. not happening. Just want to lay with a bitch Put your right clothes now. on. Man, Somebody putting their clothes on. I don't like laying naked like that anyway. Well, I mean, now, I mean, I'm cool with it now. But I'm, I say that, but shit, I probably, uh-oh, you know, and get that get that oh, feeling. I know you. I, you don't know me like yeah, that. I know, <laughs> no, you, I know you. You, you, you think so? You, you are a mister. I got a tingle. You know, uh, 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 what, yeah, what, here we go. Yeah. Man, but yeah, but once you feeling soft-ass titties, oh. Titties are so nice, man. Man, that that's gotta be the softest skin in the world. I mean, seriously, titty skin. Oh yeah, titty skin. Uh, if it they goes, make toilet it, paper out of titty skin, it goes newborn baby booty, titty skin. That's it. Fake titties. No, nah, fake titties got that. No, no, no. The nah. new fake titties. Nah. The well, new no, fake no, no, titties no, 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 are, no. are. They're okay, but the new ain't nothing like are natural. Real nice. Just natural titty skin. Oh, oh yeah. man, you made toilet paper out of that. That'd be great. It'd be so nice on your booty. About to wipe my ass with this titty. With titty yeah, titty skin toilet paper. It beats the bamboo now. I mean, how great would that titty skin toilet paper? I can oh. see why you guys are out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't keep it in stock. <laughs> fucking the toilet paper roll. <laughs> Old perverts <laughs> wrapping around their dick like, ah, oh, titty skin toilet paper. Think about it. That'd be you. <laughs> no. Do you know this dude? I mean, honestly, remember that girl? She sold her farts in a jar for $64,000. I mean, uh -huh. she ended up making $64,000 and then she had stomach troubles because she ate too many yeah, uh, beans was, and whatever, because you know she was she taking a, gas X and stuff to help her fart. Yeah, yeah, and then like her, an Mr. Burns said, "There she is, right there." I mean, she is not that cute to be buying farts. Well, tell it to guy. I mean, I want to see the guys who bought the farts. I mean, they got to be truckers and shit. <laughs> oh man, she's fucking hot, man. I'm gonna fucking buy her fucking I farts. I just, I do not get it. Man, buying farts, I mean, though. you know what makes you, it makes you feel good because that way I honestly, shouldn't say she's not hot enough to buy her farts. I don't know. Chick is hot enough to buy her farts. I wouldn't buy Beyonce's farts. Look, if you want to sell your farts, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying I personally would never purchase your wind. I mean, I'm looking at now. There's yeah, there's that's so desperate to me. There's nobody who's that hot. I mean, I, my thing back in the day was like, yeah, I, my Nigga, I wouldn't buy Jesus's farts. I mean, you didn't have to go there. That was, I, feel, I feel uncomfortable. If he was like, yo, that. take this wind. I feel, it'll I feel save uncomfortable. You. I feel uncomfortable. It'll save you in a situation that I, you get yourself into. It's like a get out of free jail car. You got Jesus farting a jar. I wouldn't buy that shit. That, feel, I, that, that was really, an, I, I don't know where to go with that. I really don't. But, I'm just saying, with, but yeah. you know. I'm back to a hot chick. Yeah, like there's some <laughs> stuff I wouldn't like. Like, man, back in the day, my thing used to be like, uh, you know, panties. Like, oh, I love panties. You know what I mean? So you're like, oh, panties. Yeah, you remember remember the story of you like collecting. I didn't collect you, them. But you were collecting panties. <laughs> it wasn't even chicks you was fucking. You just had your boys. <laughs> hey, dog, let me get them panties. Get them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, fucking but, but now, now I'm like, yeah. I mean, now there's not like now I'm like, eh, you know, like. I don't know. There's now not, you're like, nah, I don't want the panties. It, now I'm like, nah, I'm good now. <laughs> no, I mean, no. I, I guess that's like I don't know my my level of getting what turned have, on. What have you What have you upgraded to? Because a man never I, I, goes backwards. I actually am going back now. No, I feel no, almost you're disgusted. Not like, like, no. You're not, no. A man doesn't regress. I am. I'm regressing. I'm regret. Like some stuff now. I'm like, eh, I don't think that, that sounds sexy or, or you hot. Are, you are lying to yourself. I'm serious. I mean, there's some you, stuff. I, if, if you were getting it on the regular, you would not be like, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. You would still be dicking bitches in the crease. You would still be doing all the nasty licking butthole and all that other shit you do. 
Listen, uh, and the <laughs> fact that you feel sit up here in front and act like I'm a sophisticated individual. I didn't say no. I didn't. I didn't say I'm never, me sophisticated. Come on, man. I'm just I saying. Got the, you, I still got, 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 got the Oklahoma what in me. What turned you on back then is still turning you on to this day. Name, name me two things that you're no longer turned on by that you used to be turned. That on I'm by. no longer turned on by. Uh, exactly. Mm, okay. We got all night. You ain't gonna think of two things. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't because you never regress as a man. I just, I just, once you like, I just like something, the woman. You I just like, like the, it forever. I just like the woman. Period. I didn't. Um. Yeah. I just like the wo- a woman. Period. That's what turned me on. I mean, it's nothing really specific. Just being. No, I'm saying, but what, what, back in the day when you like, oh, when she does this, it's on and popping like corn at the movies, as opposed to now where you're like, if she does that, you're like, eh, I don't really care. Mm-mm. Exactly. I can't See think. what I'm. I can't think. It's been, a, it's been a while, so I don't know. It's, I can't think. You don't go back. Men do not go backwards sexually. Chris Rock said it best. I mean, do women go back sex- sexually? Well, I think if they, they no. be whole, if they be whores. Women stop being hoes. Yes, that's okay. that's the thing. But like, well, you still think like they suck dick from the back. I mean, if they, if they, that was once thing. she once she does it, yeah. She's, I mean, okay, she's still doing it. So you think she does to her husband? I mean, once they like, okay. I mean, if I got, he's into it, yeah. I got a husband now, so I got to quit sucking dick oh, from yeah. the back. Mm-hmm. But what, okay, what if that's her thing? But then she married to do who, who? That's not his thing. He go, no, 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 don't be doing that shit. Then she's doing it on the side. You think so? <laughs> no. no, I think women. I think women quit doing shit sexually. I think women like. I mean, once I mean they go through that little whole stage. Women and, stop fucking in the car. That's for sure. Well, I think. But once you get married, you got to do something different. I think you go go back to fucking in the car. Uh, I mean, I mean, go, look, you go fucking in the, the car. beginning, but it, after after like three or four years. If if y'all in a committed relationship and she's your she's not fucking you in well, the car. Well, no. Here's what I'm saying. I'm saying is like when you're younger, yeah, you look for places to fuck and you fuck in the car. But say you get older and say you get married and then all of a sudden you know it's like you know you got that spark in relationship. Say you're coming back from I don't know like a, a concert, whatever, and you parked in a parking garage. Hey, baby, let's fuck in the car like old times. I think you. And she's like, nigga, take me home. <laughs> Only if you bend over this console, it's like you dig from the back in this car, and you're laying over a console I, where you're straddling, she, you're straddling the passenger seat and the fucking driver's seat. That go, on, baby, do your thing. And then that's when the parking lot attendant. Hey, we all doing there? And you gotta look up. She's like, you dig from the back. <laughs> fucking using two hands. Oh, sir, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Please leave. Please leave. I'm trying to sell my farts. I don't even have to see me in this position. Can you imagine being a kid and you walk in on your mom's fucking your dad's dick from the back? <laughs> no, I can't, thank God. That would ruin a kid forever. You want, Mom, I need some. Oh, God. Don't ever kiss me with that <laughs> slut mouth. Well, okay, what if he's at the age where he doesn't understand, though? I mean, it doesn't matter. And then he brings it up that you know, that kids do with most inopportune time. <laughs> <laughs> I saw mommy. <laughs> <laughs> he takes his thumb out. Like, Sue, <laughs> like Stewie. <laughs> He's all sophisticated. So oh. do you want to explain to me uh, why you had that on all fours? You know, doing a little stroke and suck from behind. And that's pee pee in your mouth. Mm, you want to explain why you were giving him the old tuggeroo from behind? A seven-year-old going tuggeroo? That kid is really developed. A seven-year-old saying tuggeroo? Hey, buddy, what are you doing? I'm going to do the old tuggeroo, Dad. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't want my kid that developed. I'm sure, I'm sure there's... It's happened before. Nah, I don't know. I, I don't mean, know. I was molested at four, so I'm sure there was uh. a seven-year-old doing a tug of yeah. somewhere. Like, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? You yeah, got molested. What happened? What, what do you think molestation is? Well, I don't know. Did somebody, like, uh, like just fill you up? They or were what just happened? like, <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what do you? It's what, child molestation, bro. Was it a family member? No, it was a babysitter. Oh, motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm, damn it. That she sucks. smelled like pee. How old was she? Uh, I was four. So she was probably 16, 17. I don't know. Ah, fuck, man. And it wasn't an old lady. Women are fucking, women are just as, I mean, when it comes to shit like that, I mean, oh, they're yeah. bad. I mean, they really. Men just don't, aren't allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to. Or, like, I saw a movie that, that, that there was a woman, she, uh, she was a bad mother. And what did she do in the movie? It was a pretty good movie. Uh, she, uh. Like I mean, there's dead, there's you know deadbeat moms who like abandon their kids. Like they have a baby and realize this ain't really for me. You know what I mean? There was a chick who tried to. Uh, she got on video dumping her baby, newborn. Oh, yeah. Like in a dumpster. It was a. Uh, well, and they always come to their. Uh, they always come to their uh, defense. You know what I mean? 
They always come to their defense like, well, you know, it's a, it's a condition that men. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that meme. Oh, video sh- chart. Uh, here we go. Surveillance. Is this in New York? Uh, I think it was New Mexico. Yeah, Hobbs, yeah. New Mexico. Oh, man, New Mexico, that's a yeah, shitty this, place. This shit just happened. That's a shitty place. You ever been to New Mexico? <clears throat> uh, no, I've oh. never been to New Mexico. Oh, man, that is, oof. that's hard living, bro. What are you doing? You had it up, Malik. What are you doing, buddy? I'm pulling it up on YouTube so it's uh, easier to watch. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to watch it. I just wanted to talk about it. I don't want to see a woman throwing a baby away. Jesus. That's, I mean, that's leave, terrible. Leave that at the fire station, like they say. You know, I mean. Yeah, there's safe places that you can take it. Like, hey, I. Yeah, Just, I, I don't want to take care of it. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. Your name. Don't ask, don't tell. That's the perfect don't ask, they don't tell. They have baby boxes. Really? Yeah. You put the baby in the box and you just dip. Safe haven, look, f- safe haven, baby box drop off. Wow. <laughs> like the old uh, uh, red like, uh, C- D- DVDs. Red, 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 dick. <laughs> <laughs> you having a stroke there? Stop it. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to say? Red box, yeah, the old red box DVDs, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> now they got a baby box. And you just put your drop your baby there. And I don't want this baby no more. You just drop it off. <laughs> I gotta take this baby back. It's who, too late to get an abortion. <laughs> who come to get the baby? The fire department. And they take it to I guess what the foster home. The hospital at first. And they get the, yeah, the and shots. Then they get put in the system. Because it's a baby box. Wow. So you don't throw it away or put it in a plastic bag with a twist tie and. Look, well, she's like ah. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think I would be posing. Yeah, say you have a baby box. next to it. Like, Can you imagine opening up and there's a baby in there? I wouldn't want to drop my baby off. Yeah. This bitch was standing yeah. there with a <laughs> yeah. fucking smile yeah. on her face. Bring your baby on down. Come on. Uh, what if your baby's too fat to fit in there? What do you do? Uh, what if your baby's too big to fit in there? And just leave it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, baby. <laughs> Good luck, fella. See what you did to my box? <laughs> <laughs> See how you like it. And just walk away. Are these dudes the installer of yeah. the baby? Why are people taking pictures next, next to, to a ba- the baby? That's box? the weirdest shit in the world. They can make, and then they just leave. And then, like, what do you do? Just drop the baby off and go, all right, uh, you, you guys want to go to Burger King? And you just, <laughs> what, I mean, you just drop your baby off then and you go back about your life. I feel like this just pedophiles waiting, like, come on, come on. Well, they're too little, though. <laughs> There's never too little for a <laughs> pedophile. pedophile. Yeah. Mm, fresh mate. <laughs> are you dropping that baby off, ma'am? <laughs> Just sitting in the car what if, eating ice cream. What if it's like four and you don't want the kid anymore? Like, what if it's like three or four? Well, no. He can, if the baby can walk, that's your and baby. Talk, and talk if and go, Mama, where you going? If the baby is a witness to the crime of you abandoning it, that's your baby. Okay. Well, <laughs> just like a 13-year-old kid just being <laughs> left at a the mall. They ain't coming home no more. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking terrible parent. Yeah. That's, oh. that's awful. Wow. America's fucked up, man. No, Do they have the baby world boxes is, no, the in, world. in other countries? Yeah, in other countries. Like, like if you don't want, I wonder what a Chinese baby box looks like. <laughs> oh, 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 that's like, oh my god, a Chinese baby. It's like a laundry chute. <laughs> <laughs> Not a laundry. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It is, but yeah, I wonder what one look like in China. I mean, is it like okay, like in Russia? What, what would the baby box look like in Russia? Uh, or do they have a one? Vodka bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, he goes immediately to the military. <laughs> Russia baby box. They have Russian baby box. No, it's one of those nesting dolls. <laughs> they just put the baby in there. Baby box opens in Russia. See, baby box in Russia helps save lives of abandoned babies. Wow, that's crazy. How about China? See if China has any. China baby box. Baby boxes, this is, this is, this is. Well, I mean, what, what, like, what do you have, a, 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 like a girl, and they got to get rid of it, you know? China has a one-baby policy introduced since 1979. Wow, they are fucking in China. Yeah, it's a lot of sex. It's a look big, at that. It's a big country. Look, ba- hey, baby, you know what it looks like? One of those old photo mats. Remember, <laughs> remember, remember you had those little, like. No, uh, I was not. I'm not as old as you. I don't remember the things you remember. Man. <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> well, you said that shit. That's like, like a camper. Look at that. Doesn't look like a camper. Look at that. Man. It's, that one's big because they put a bunch of babies in. <laughs> what, if, what if it's too many babies we in the baby box? We got one baby per box in America. In China, it's a fucking <laughs> they're industrial all strength baby box. <laughs> you open it up, they're all stacked up together. A bunch of cousins in there. <laughs> you, you can't fucking, you can't put your baby in <laughs> the, the first baby ends making <laughs> blankets for the next baby. <laughs> <laughs> Blankets and iPads for the next baby. It's fucking terrible. 
<laughs> About time somebody else got here. They're watching movies. That, and look over, another kid comes in and he scoot over. To, <laughs> they're already at work. Take that number. <laughs> they're already at work. <laughs> <laughs> There's so That's many so ma- fucking racist. No, it's not. You know why? Because so I saw that racist. video I sent you. <laughs> yeah. So fuck, I don't feel bad. They, they, they all, yeah. There's a bunch of racist Chinese people. Yeah, they, he yeah. sent this video of um, basketball players getting off the bus, and, they, and Chinese people call them nigger. Yeah. <laughs> they were they going <laughs> nigger, nigger. They, 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 they go get out of China, nigger, and they start laughing. <laughs> get out of China, nigger. I don't feel bad doing the voice. It's like that was the only English he knew. Was yeah, and it, and it was and it was spot on. I mean, <laughs> nigga. Was, yeah, they go, nigga, 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 nigga. Get out of China, nigga. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I, I don't mean, know why that tickled you so yeah, much. Yeah, but you got to see the video, man. It was it was disturbing. Pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. Send it to him. Send it to him. Uh, no, you can pull it up right now. Racist Chinese uh, basketball fan. There yeah, you go. This is it this right, is here. right here. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah, this is disturbing at the most. Disturbing. You fucking niggas. Yeah. yeah. Fucking niggas and your bouncing get balls. That, get out of China, nigga. <laughs> or what's going to happen? You don't want to know. I'm going to put you in the village with the Muslims. <laughs> Here we go. What they're doing. Is that Ben Polizzi? That is Ben Polizzi. What I mean. That's a male supermodel right there is what that dude is. Who's buying this? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God, fucking ass, Don't you hate bro. this one? Don't you hate it? She's kind of hot. Not playing chess with her feet. Ugh. Well, uh, okay. BT wishes they were dirty. <laughs> Thank you. I really do. I'm just, okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I want to hear... No. Nah, they're bleeping no. nigga. That's why I said pull it up on your thing. And I'll, I'll send it to you right now, Molly. Oh, I, I don't have your thing, do I, Molly? Okay, I don't. Niggas, niggas, <laughs> niggas. I don't know why that's so funny to you. Mm. <laughs> he is over here tickled at I know. Chinese racism. I know. Money gets up on weird stuff. <laughs> Just think about it if it was opposite. Like if some Chinese players came here and, and we the only like, phrase you knew was yeah, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Oh, what people walking by? <laughs> Get out of China! But bring back Chris Tucker! <laughs> <laughs> they got man left. <laughs> they got man did a U-turn. There was kids in the car. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Though, honestly, you know, I honestly, I honestly think that comes from America, and, and I really think Americans have, have have done it to the rest of the world to how they treat us. <laughs> And no, I really do. Are oh, you talking about being racist? Yeah, I, I, I think towards uh, black people. Yeah, I think America. Yeah, I think Chinese America, learned that from Americans. Yes, everything. I think I think America is the blueprint. No, for racism. no, no. Remember, no, okay, no, when American, no. when the American Jack- servicemen, American servicemen were over in World War II over in France, and they treated them really well, and they find out they they weren't treated like a, a you know like a, how American whites treat them. They they had them go back and remove them from bars, whatever. They, they were actually getting long in, and they made them like, no, nah, he goes, and they would like say uh, bad stuff to the French so they could, you know, quit treating them like equal. Like in England, in, during World War II, they had no problem with blacks coming in, and, and so the American servicemen didn't like that, but the, the British stood up for the black American servicemen, and that, and that was a little brawl that ensued between the white U.S. servicemen and the Brits taking up for the black U.S. servicemen. That was a, never, no one talks about that. I never heard about. Yeah, it. no. What, uh, fi- what 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 fight was this? It was in it was during World War Two. No, it was during World War Two. And, and and Y'all not going to keep calling them niggas in yeah. my presence. That, that's pretty much what they did. And, and what they did was, I think that the U.S. service said they don't don't allow them in the bar, and they were like, they can come drink with us, and they got mad, and they got mad that they. Uh, yeah. Why black. hasn't this been a Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> well, it just might be. There we go. When British and I mean, I, I, see, ride it against. Here we go. Yeah, the battle. There we go. What they call it? The Battle of what? Uh, uh, General or uh, George Orwell remarked that the general consensus of opinion is that the only American soldiers with any manners are the Negroes. Wow, wow. 
Are you going to read it? Or are you just yeah, I'm going to read it. Okay. Read okay. it out loud, nigga. It's okay. a podcast. Fucking in this riot, head. white British residents of the village joined with African-American troops to fight against U.S. military police. When the smoke cleared, one person was dead and seven badly injured. I thought I said seven babies injured. Seven badly injured. <laughs> there wasn't no baby bucks. Uh, to understand why the riot broke out, it's necessary to look uh, to, to look a little further back in history. While African-American troops have served in various branches of the U.S. military forces since the American Civil War, uh, strict segregation laws and armed forces in line with, you know, with Jim Crow, basically. The American troops, both yeah. black and white, landed in, Brit- landed in Britain in 1942, which brought them uh, a set of prejudices and deeply ingrained attitudes about races. While white uh, American troops were generally part of combat uh, units, black troops were usually relegated to non-combat roles, often involving manual labor. So basically, they were being slaves again. Uh-huh. I mean, they really were. I mean, America, African-American troops were used to uh, were used to being segregated. Colonel got me working. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from their white counterparts back home. But in Britain, no such laws existed, and there was very little in the way of racial prejudices. Keep on going, Malik. So, yeah, and, American, and the white American servicemen got mad. Hold on. Uh, black troops were welcomed with open arms and were free to fraternize with British men and women, especially the women, in pubs, cinemas, dance halls, uh, fucking on public transport, and in other places with no restrictions. This was completely different from how it was for them in some parts of the United States, pretty much everywhere, but particularly in the South. Many American politicians and military officials worried that the African-American troops who were experiencing this newfound complete... Freedom! E- yeah, <laughs> equality with whites would become radicalized and stir up trouble when they uh, had returned to the U.S. They therefore sought to keep the black servicemen segregated from the local white population. The British, however, refused to comply with any racist request from American military police officers when asked to segregate his pub. For example, one pub owner said they would glad to do so. When the, uh, MP officials returned to check on the pub, the owner had put up a sign saying that, the, that only black GIs were welcome. That is great. You see what I mean? I, it's the Americans that, that, that try to keep, uh, uh, try to do, for the world to look at us like that. I think the rest of the world would treat yeah, us it's better. It's called white supremacy, bro. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, if, if America would treat us uh, treat, treat us better, the rest of the world's like, okay, we'll treat them like it was also. Well, it's too late now. Yeah, well, except for France. France has always been that way. I mean, every, every person who went over to France, uh, from Miles Davis to James Baldwin, has always said France treated them better. I mean, uh, Paris, that is. Paris. I was going to say, France hates... Oh my God! Too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but but Africans. But, uh, Africans are there are are Mexicans basically. Well, they colonized most of fucking Africa, so yeah. So it, that, it, there's a reason why yeah, they're shitty. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's almost like how England kind of gets mad at the uh, at the the, Pakistan, the, the Pakistanis and everything. But hey, man, look what you did, or in in, in the uh, Indians, uh, India Indians. You know what I mean? So yeah, hey, look what you did. So of course they're gonna come over. I mean, hey, deal with it. I mean, it's it's serious that that's that that's your burden to bear now. I mean, you go all, you all that conquering. You don't think there's going to be uh, repercussions to pay for? Hey, you got to be careful about the monster you create, yo. And they, and they created the monster, so so you know what? So deal with it, bro. They are dealing with it. Well, one racist vote at a time. Oh my god! Look at Florida. Oh my god! We don't want to taste our children. Because what was the new thing they were trying to outlaw making white kids feel bad? Feel bad about slavery? Like, oh, but you know, really? Have the white kids? I mean, how well, white supremacy damn, is that? We are protecting feelings now. Yeah, yeah. You don't want the kids to feel bad about how they treated us, motherfucker. I mean, listen to what you're saying, like, and people go along with it. Yeah, I should focus more on school shooting than school feelings. No, I told. Wait, what I say in my joke? I said, man, school shootings. Nobody. They say arm the teachers. After that, eh, go to school in the pandemic. Eh. Everything else, eh? Let's, let's teach critical race theory. We got to protect the children. It's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Th- that That's their number one priority. I don't see anybody come up I with, with a bill. I just don't want my child to feel bad about his grandpappy. <laughs> I mean, think about it, man. I mean... But all these school shootings, I mean, not even in crazy ass Florida, they didn't come they didn't come up with a okay, we have a bill that says Who broke teachers this can window. Oh man, uh, it's after we left the other day. Seriously, after we left the other day. That's what they, they told me today. In their white uh um I'm just now. Malik. I'm like, why is there broken glass? Malik, isn't that right? Yeah, somebody broke the glass after uh, the show Tuesday. Yeah, man. Heard they were uh, mad at you guys and uh, no, they were mad at threw a it. brick through the window. Tried to at least. Yeah, man. Hate yeah. crime. Yeah. I've seen two blacks performing <laughs> <laughs> in downtown and Indianapolis. A third producing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and third producer who's a who's a who's a. That's who you really need to watch is them goddamn producers. Yeah, the half breed. Those people the, behind the, the scenes, those are the ones. You the need high to worry yellow about. producer. Everybody, <laughs> everybody knows that you're going to fall for the words of those sweet talking ninjas. <laughs> those aren't the ones that. Trust me when I tell you, the mouthpiece is not what gets the things you need done. 
They're just the figurehead, the focal point. It's the shadows. That's where you got to look. Malik's the most dangerous nigger in the room. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because you don't know where he stands. He could be sleeping next to your daughter in the Hotel 8, and you wouldn't even know it. Know why? Because you never see him. You never hear his voice. It's the niggers in the shadows. <laughs> the new we can protect against BT and Dion. Them motherfuckers ain't never going to get close to our can. But that goddamn Malik with his suspectful behavior don't show up in the daytime. <laughs> Only comes around at night. Sounds suspicious to me. See, I'm a clever white. I'm not like the rest of you dummies out here. I think it's in between the lines. It's not the ones you see. It's the ones you don't see. They're using our strategy against us. It's the niggers in the shadows. Yeah. You, the ones they send to China are the ones you got to worry about. But, man, that is so messed up, though, that the military would do that. That The MP, like, they don't have anything else to worry about during World War II, but keeping, uh, they, they, they call them getting radicalized you can, you because you can't let equally. black people be happy, bro. That's they, what I'm saying, man. I mean, that's, that's what's so messed up about this country, man, that they, they hate to see us happy. Hate to see us happy. Bro, it, was, it, it was the equal. plan from all along that we were never supposed to be free. We were never supposed to be free, ever. Hey, man, you, w w with the way they're trying to pass laws, I guarantee you, there, I, there's got to be somebody they're paying now to, to, to fine-tooth a comb, the Constitution or whatever, that says slavery is still legal in some states. It is still legal in every state. It's punishable by crime. That's, they turn you into a criminal. When, they, when you get a felony, you become a slave, bro. Point blank, period. There's a reason why all these companies... Uh, the prisoners work those jobs for 26 yes, cents a day. Of course. It's fucking modern day slavery, bro. It all is, man. That's I mean, all it is. Oh, speaking of that, which, I mean, the reason I say it because it, uh, I was thinking of uh, Louisiana it's and my, freezing in here. my my nephew is in jail in, in prison in Louisiana, right? Oh. And he should have been out by now. But um, they ain't let him out because of COVID. He should have faked asthma. Anyway, so, but. Um, because I think Louisiana is the top incarcerated uh, place in the world, I think, especially for African Americans. I mean, it's in the world, and you know, it's all a bunch of bullshit. But that new guy running for uh, running for um, uh, is it governor, man? And you see his first campaign thing? He was smoking oh, a joint. He was running for senate. Senate, yeah. percent, and he's smoking a joint. Mm -hmm. Dude, that dude is they smart. trying to legalize the weed. Down they, as well, they should because it's. I mean, we should be legalized everywhere. Yeah, cannabis should be legalized, Point man. Blank it, period. Yeah, I mean, it, it it really does. help. All drugs should be legal. To be honest with you. You should be able to there get as high as you there want to. What's his name? Uh, Ch Chambers, what's his name? I want to get this dude on uh, Tails. But I doubt he would. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense for him to do it. Gary Chambers? Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense for him to do it because, you know, he's in Louisiana. It would. But he's, talk he's talking about this, the, the, the one that's, in, uh, uh, that's running now. I mean, it's already in there now. Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, the, yeah. Who him. wrote that blind, yo? I don't know, but yeah, that dude, he, he said he's been in for 20 years and nothing's John really Kennedy. changed. Yeah, but it's Louisiana, man. Oh, look at this lipless bastard. Oh, my God. Where the fuck are your lips, bro? He could tongue kiss a wall. What the fuck, fam? Look at that. That is a white man right there. That this is a nigga, white. <laughs> that's white. Guy was like, you want lips? Nah, just give me a slit. You know what that looks like? <laughs> you know what that looks like? Make my that mouth looks like Wyatt in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. That was like Wyatt in 40 years. Except for Wyatt. Wyatt I, I'm going to need you to get Botox, man. <laughs> and this nigga lips. got a negative upper lip. I hope this Gary Chambers dude makes sense. I doubt it, but I hope This nigga's lip look like a fucking door mailbox. <laughs> no, you know, you know, he looks like bitter beer face. <laughs> remember that? Remember the old commercial? You know who he looked like? Good idea, bad idea from Animaniacs. You remember that? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? You might be too young to fucking... And you might be too old. Man, fuck you <laughs> both. There you go. Good idea, bad idea. There Just you pull go. up the image. Yeah. He looks like the, the guy from Good Idea, Bad Idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see this shit. Oh, that shit used to be so funny. Good idea, bad idea. Have you ever seen Mr. Pickles on Cartoon Network? That shit is so that fucked up, dog. Yes. <laughs> oh my, that's disturbing. I saw one episode. I go, I can't watch this shit. That's disturbing as fuck. <laughs> Mr. Pickles. Yeah. Man, I remember, okay, there was this uh, chick I was, uh, uh, the only, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this only once, it was the only chick I probably, I, sh I, I should have married. And uh, I remember she showed me uh, a cartoon, and it was like Mr. Pickles, but it wasn't. And I was like, 
man, you really, you like this shit? I mean, it was, it was just like Mr. Pickles, though. And then I saw Mr. Pickles, I was like, I've seen this before. Rick Mr. Pickles, boys. Mr. Pickles is fucking disturbing, bro. Yeah. That's disturbing shit right there. I, American cartoons are, <laughs> the fucking animation quality is never up to par to Japanese. Like, they put way more, like, American cartoons be the most you know easily you drawn, know jank shit. You know why? No nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> No more anime for niggas. Like pull up, <laughs> like pull up Phoenix and Ferb. Compare that to anime. Like well, fucking Phoenix and Ferb is just triangles, nigga. With <laughs> the most basic fucking shit. Anybody who passed geometry, <laughs> high school <laughs> basic geometry, they did this show. It's like Americans are too busy to make their cartoons look they're, actually real. They're too busy dodging bullets and shit from school. <laughs> that's that's what they got right there. And my my uh, nephew's really into anime. Anime is the shit. He he really is into anime. Like they he, tell some really cool stories, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. The but, shit be long though. Yeah. Well. Okay. It be it be long as fuck. Okay. Like damn, I ain't I can't get. Yeah. It's like I got you. Bro. There's one uh, called One Piece. Motherfucker has been out since I think 2009. Yeah. No, 1997, and it's still going, fam. He's, he he literally was like, it's my my dream is to be the longest running um, mango is what they call it, which is translate to comic. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's called manga, but it's comic books, for I, Japanese comic books. I never got into comic books, ever. I've never been into that. I, I mean, I hardly was into animation. I mean, of course, Saturday morning cartoons, but after that, I mean... I mean, yeah, I, you know, South Park. And I like anime. It's, it's, I, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Like, you have to be dedicated to that stuff. Yeah, you know I'm not. I mean? I'm not. I mean, I'm it's just kind of like not. people who collect cards. You know, you, you got to be, that's got to be your thing. Yeah, I mean, everybody has their thing. And good for you, but yeah, that's just not me. That, that and I mean, that comic book. That's why, like, I don't get into those movies, man. I never was into that shit. They're good movies, I know that, man. but I just never got into that shit. And I, I told you, I tried. It's like Star Wars. I tried, and I don't know why I went to go Star see... Star Wars is good. I don't, know, I don't know why I went to go see Dune. I don't know why. Like, I think because everybody was like, you gotta see Dune, you gotta see Dune. And I was like, I saw, you know, years ago when I was, like, in high school, I was like, I thought it was terrible. But I said, <laughs> maybe it's different. It was terrible. It, but and I saw it again, I was Dune like... Dune sucks. Dude, it was... I mean, it was good, but it, I mean, I was watching going, okay, this is good. But at the same time, I was like, no. I am not into this at all. No. I am not into this at all. Is that Zendaya. a girl or a boy? That was Zendaya. Yeah, she's, yeah. That's a that's girl. A, that's a female. That's Tom Holland's uh, girlfriend. She had pretty beautiful eyes. That's his girlfriend? That's his chick? Uh-huh. Okay. That's Spider-Man's girlfriend. That's Mary Jane. Like in real life, though? Yeah. Okay. Zendaya? They are so cute together, too. Oh, good for them. I think she was in the movie with uh There's a uh there's a clip of him doing the web shooters like sk yeah. Sk sk yeah. And, and she there's a clip of her looking at him doing it and going <laughs> biting her lip like mm. Really? Yeah. Was, is is she black? Half black? I don't know. She looks like it. If I, if I know her nationality, can you tell me about that? Zendaya blah, her father is black. So yeah, she half. I thought the African American her roots and arc. Oh, poor girl. German and Scottish. Yeah, you know what? I bet she couldn't wait to leave Arkansas. There, 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 there's a parents right there. Nothing like either one of them. Let me tell you something. You get the ugliest of any two races, and they'll produce the most beautiful baby. Seriously, you can get like hey, 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 and like you know, and fucking Janet Reno, and they'll produce, oh, and they'll produce the R. most R. beautiful Janet Reno. Well, I mean, when she was alive, obviously. Hey, but hey, <laughs> hey! I'm slipping this in your dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I've got to go destroy this Waco <laughs> compound. I'll be right back, and the next thing you know, they'll produce her. Seriously, you get the two most. <laughs> oh man, she was hideous. But still, at the same time, look, Will Ferrell was, played her. She was very homely looking, is what they. <laughs> but but she was a straight up fucking. I mean, she was like the female. I'm gonna say Hitler, but she was the female. Like she she was Attorney General, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, man. When she what she did to Waco was oh my god. She she torched those motherfuckers, oh, I, man. I, I stop, get her off the screen. I'm, I cannot look at her anymore. You don't think she's hot? No. no. <laughs> Just joking, man. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> but she was gay, though, wasn't she? With a face like that, probably. <laughs> and no, she was married, wasn't she? I don't mean shit. And them big, thick ass guys. I thought she came out and said she was gay, I think. I thought. Maybe. I don't remember. Who cares? I mean, <laughs> she's one of the people who go, eh. You know what I mean? Janet Reno, like, I, I like to dance. I am a, I'm a lesbian. I came out of the closet. Anyway, and you just go on. You don't give a shit. She was born in Miami. Holy shit. 
Might be the ugliest person from Miami ever. Yeah, she probably got kicked out of Miami. <laughs> <laughs> she probably got kicked out. You are way too ugly to live here. All right, let's see her stats. How, how tall was she? Was she like 6'3"? How tall was she? Let's see her stats. Let's see this bitch's six stats. 6'2". Six, 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 I bet she was a good about 210. I'm going to say 6'2", 210. She's always rocking the long sleeve oh, shirt. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably, oh, my God, that's horrible. I don't like that picture of her. But, yeah. I want to so bad when she was in college. She had a picture of her in bangs and black and white. Go back. There, at the very far. No. She, she okay, looks like, okay. She looks like Josh Brolin. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she was never attractive. Wow, that's hard. That's horrible. She to looks say. like a geographer. <laughs> <laughs> She's like one of those people that was that, that, that you put the picture up, and she was lost in a cave, <laughs> and nobody went to find I her. I study rocks, <laughs> and, and nobody went to find her. And it was like it was like a cave in, and <laughs> nobody went to uh, find her. Uh, what happened? The cave I'm in. Sorry, I, I don't want to bash Jenner. Yeah, she's dead, man. That's yeah. horrible. I feel bad. It is. We shouldn't be saying somebody's yeah. unattractive. We wake up and there's a flamethrower at our door. I'm sure somebody <laughs> thinks I'm not cute, and I'm sure somebody thinks you're not cute. So who could that person be? Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, seriously. I'm sure I'm not attractive to this. I mean, there's always people. somebody people like he ain't shit. I mean, back in my day, honestly, if a like I I, did, I had game enough to where if a girl goes, oh shit, he cute. She's I, not my cup of tea. And, and I could play, and I, I could play not to, I could play not to lose. But if a, if a girl looked at me like he ain't shit, I couldn't win her over. You know what I mean? Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have that kind of... Now I don't care. I, I used, to, I used to be superficial like that. I used to care if people like now. I, who gives bitch, a shit I don't now? give a fuck. Yeah, I got Pornhub and Netflix. You know I don't who, need you, you know, bitch. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you, know, you know how I feel about you not liking me? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit. Don't give three and fucks. And I definitely don't give a fuck. Don't give three fucks for Don't give a damn. Ass. Don't give a shit. Don't, don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. No, I mean, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Really don't. I Motherfuckers just, love to tell you shit too. Like they'll, they'll inbox you. I didn't like. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, wait, why are you telling? I don't give a fuck. Why are you telling something you don't like? I don't. Give I don't a shit. give a fuck. If you yeah. don't like me or something I did, guess what? I don't, I don't give, give a shit. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What's that? Nope. Not giving it to you. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man. I feel that way. People Go always write your Yelp reviews of somebody who gives a fuck. I mean, honestly, I, this, this should be a new law that says you can slap the shit out of somebody if they get in your face and try to tell you. Like, if I say something like, uh, you say something like, all right, bet. And they'll just keep on talking. And then that's what you get on my fucking nerves. I mean, that's where people get fucking slapped or whatever. There is a self defense clause where, well, I mean, if, if they're verbally abusing you, you can defend yourself. I like, op you know what? Open hand slapping a man, I think is the I best. A, I, I created this move when I was in uh, high school called the disrespect punch. What was that? What was that? <laughs> It's where you spit on your knuckle and bust. Oh, that that's fucking nice. Face. That's nice. I like that. I like that. <sighs> yeah, even best, even better. Slap. You slap a, another man. That's straight up bitch right there. Yeah. You slap another man. Open Warnby hand. Hall slap my gardener. So what now? Say again. Warnby. Oh, I remember yeah. that. I remember. That. You know what? I saw him uh, this month. Who? Well, uh, gardener. Gardener. I was I was late to the movies and I was at uh, Landmark and I was going. I was late. I was running, and this dude said, "Man, you whatever." And I look back and I go, and "We were like." I go, Gardner? And he goes, BT? And I go, man, I'm like, Ugh. and it went up. And, you know, I never had anything against him. I mean, I, I should have. He was a thief and a bitch-ass nigga. Dude, I know. I know all that. At the same time, though, he always paid me more than I, yeah, I mean. So he, he stole just, somebody else's money he, to give you I, always, I mean, I mean, I know. Listen. See, I, that's that shit I don't like, nigga. When you know a motherfucker's grimy and you go, well, he was good to me. Okay, fucking Switzerland. Get the fuck out of here. But you know what? But also, you know what, though? I, 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 this nigga done screwed over all your comedy buddies. Well, I don't have a but no, no, but you, uh, hey, uh, you know, I knew something was wrong when, uh, okay, here's what made me so mad when I first moved here, right? I was, okay, no. When when Bowers took over uh, at Morty's, okay? Yeah. Remember, and like, was booking and they gave me the fucking. I remember I'd go to every open mic all the time. I right? stopped going. I was like, man, fuck that. And I wasn't getting work. And I'd be, every open mic I'd be there, and they were booking gardeners. And I was, I was like, man, this is fucking bullshit, right? And I was getting, you know, I felt like I was getting the hose basically. And you then were. they, and they finally, uh, then they finally let him go or whatever. And I was, I was still so fucking mad. I was like, I ain't going up there until y'all get rid of him. I, I, mean, I just wanted to get time and get on stage so I can, you know, when I go on the road, I had, I, you know, I had mm -hmm. work on new shit. But, no, I don't but fuck with people who fuck. 
for the if most I don't part, fuck with somebody and you fuck with them, I don't fuck with you. Nah, that's I, that's just my rule. Mean, man. If you know I don't fuck with somebody and you still continue to fuck with them, then that is my indication that you don't want to fuck with me no more. I got two friends right now. They fuck with a dude that I do not fuck with. And they be like, come hang out with us. I'd be like, y'all fucking around with that dude? They'd be like, yeah. I'm like, then I don't fuck with y'all. Yeah. I, I hear you. I don't fuck with you. If you fuck with somebody I don't fuck with, guess what? I don't oh, fuck oh. with you. <laughs> yeah. I don't I mean, fuck with you no more. I hear you. I hear you. You got to pick. Yeah. And that's just how my, that's that's the rules. That's how bright fame, that's how I get down. If you fuck with somebody, if you cool with me and I tell you I don't fuck with this person and you think you finna still be cool with me and fuck with the person that I don't fuck with, guess what? You're not cool with me and I don't fuck with you no more. Y'all mm. can go both fuck because that's just how it is. I don't. Those are the rules in my household. I tell you what's funny is that you know it was like that with you know they they, they I remember I just got mad at one time like well, what the fuck bro, and uh, so then fast forward to last year when uh you know when the virus and everything gets shut down mm-hmm. and I was doing those fucking Zoom shows that I fucking hated, and then so finally everything started opening up they were going to bring it on the road because you know it was him and Steve Hostetter or whatever they were going to do their nowhere comedy like you know some yeah, comedy yeah. go and they want you to come down and do it and I go nah I'm good. And then, like, he asked me to do one, and this was when everything was kind of opening up, but not really. And he go, "Want to do another Zoom show?" I go, "Nah." And then I, kept, I kept turning. I go, "No, no, no." And he goes, and then he, I think he texts me like, "Hey, what, what did we ever do to you that?" Uh, and I was like, "I want, I want to go really." I mean, let me explain. Yeah, like real. I mean, I, I it, it's it's amazing to me sometimes when people like they forget what they fucking did to you and then get mad at you for not, you know. Oh yeah. I I, I want to go really. I mean, like I don't let them forget though. I mean, I, it, like. It, the, the greatest thing was uh, I was on, um, uh, you know, I did a cruise or whatever, and uh, so my ex called me. You know, the one, the one from Nebraska that I fucking still love, you know, feel in love with and shit. So she, she called me. She was drunk, by the way, but she goes, why don't you just come and, you know, come in the back in Nebraska and we'll just hang out? And I was like, wow. I go, I remember like, what, 15, 10 years ago, I was in fucking just in love with you or whatever, and then you went and, but, but you know, but it made sense because she was a dude that wanted to settle down, and it made sense now, looking back on now, but I was like, wow, now I have time to change, like, the you know, the table's kind of turned in mm-hmm. a way, and I was like, man, I'm not, well, I'm, well, yeah, well. I'm not driving 10 hours again to see you like I used to. I mean, I used to be like, I got nothing to do, I'm going to drive to Nebraska. That was a 10-hour drive, and I would just go and see her. I mean, I, I literally would do that. And I was like, now I'm like, I wouldn't even go to the airport. To get rid of <laughs> I mean, I mean, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't call an Uber right now to go to the airport to go. I mean, you know, what I mean, it's just, that's just how things have changed, how time. And but it's, it, but it's true in life how it, circ- it comes back though. It's like, yeah, yeah, because I mean, cause, you know why? When you let stuff go, I talked to today, uh, Tarina about this today. How sometimes you know you want something and then you just kind of let it go and it eventually comes back. I mean, that's how, you know, with Bauer, that's how it was with her. I remember I used to just, oh, just, you know, if she gave me the word, I would drive to go see her and this and that. And when she said that, I was like, yeah, I remember when I used to. I remember having a uh, face-to-face, man-to-man conversation with him one time, with uh-huh. uh at a bar. We talked about race. Just get hit by a car. God damn, that car was not even stopping. Well, he, what a f- he wasn't supposed to. Well, but still, <laughs> he saw them people walking. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead <laughs> you go can't ahead. just stop in the middle of the street because there's people there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's not how traffic laws work. <laughs> anyway. Pedestrians have the right away at the yeah. fucking yeah. the stoplight, not in the middle of the fucking <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so what? So yeah, we're having this conversation about how black people <clears throat> he's like, I don't understand, you know, he was basically saying he didn't understand how black people don't assimilate. And I go, because to assimilate is to kill off with your blackness. Like you have to be, if you look at all the assimilated black Americans, the Herschel Walkers and the Ben Carsons, they're no longer black people. They're dark whites is what they become. And I was like, black people don't want to be that type of an American. We just want y'all to stop fucking with us. Basically, That's, yeah. I go, we want equal rights and we want you to respect our differences. Like, we don't want to be a part of the American culture. We want our own shit. In America, like today, when uh, you see what uh, uh, No Lip Mitch said, uh, Mitch McConnell, no, what do you say? He, you say? he goes, he goes, uh, they go, uh, <laughs> the reporter said, What do you think of the laws that are paying, I mean, passed it, uh, that discriminate against African American voters? And he goes, uh, That's totally not true, you know, that's totally not true. Um, turtle, turtle. He, he goes, uh, he, uh, he goes, Yeah, comments on black voters, yeah, play it, play it. No, I haven't seen it. This should be rich. Oh, this is good. Check this out. This should Watch be this. rich. Why someone fucking Mr. Gobel knockoff piece of shit. God damn, I hate 
Bruh. I know. Here we go. Here we go. Skip it. Yeah. What, what, what's your message for voters of color who are concerned that without the John L. Lewis Voting Rights Act, they're not going to be able to vote in the midterm? Well, the concern is misplaced because if you look. See? As, See? As, as Americans. As I mean, so is it the. Is yeah, it, it looks like it's actual video that's messed up, yeah. not the internet. That's fine. We can still hear it. Wait, you guys can hear it? Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can only hear it in one headphone though. That's all right. That's all right. But he said, but I want we don't want him to hear it. That they just as high as Americans. Turns out that black people vote just as much as Americans. Oh shit! I said it out loud, didn't I? I'm getting too old for this I, shit. I just can't. I mean, yeah. I mean, and that was the conversation. I was, I was like, I was like, we don't want no fucking preferential treatment. To assimilate is to die as a black man. Don't nobody want to do that shit. Ain't nobody trying to die to yeah. be a part of y'all, America. Cause once you once you turn into Herschel Walker and fucking it's Candace done. Owens, yeah. the second they have no use for you, they fucking get rid of you. So now you left in no man's land. You ain't turn your back on your on the black people so you can go live with the whites who hate you. It's fucking stupid. I mean, they don't understand. They'll, they'll never understand. And he he for the life of him, he he he's like, I'm trying to understand. I just don't get it. I go, you'll you can't never, fucking get it. Yeah, you'll never get it. You'll you never don't get know it. what it's like. You have no idea what it's like. I got the would you rather questions. Okay. First question. Would you rather teleport to any place you touch on a map or read the thoughts of anyone you touch with your hands? Read Tele- the thoughts. Teleport. I want to teleport. Fuck that. Man, go to fucking Sweden. You are just... A white man. Trapped in a nigga's body. <laughs> <laughs> you literally are a white man trapped in a nigga's body. I didn't tell you why. You're I a fucking do it. vegan. I didn't tell you what. You you want you love racing. <laughs> white women like you're. I like all women. I like all women. Remember I told you my, my dirty feet. White bitches are your thing. Puerto, I like Puerto Ricans, but their feet have to be clean. I'm just fucking. <laughs> with you. I'm just fucking with you. And it make no sense at all. I mean, I like all women. You think they're just they're just white? No, I like all women. Go ahead, Malik. Next question. Would you rather be able to control your... Sorry. Would you rather be able to control your dreams? Wait. Would you rather God be... No, 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 no. If you've seen the question, would you, if you've seen the question, it says, would you rather be able to control your dreams or 50,000 or get 15 million, but you will always be very drunk? What? Say again. Would you rather be able to control your dreams okay. or get 50,000 or get 15 million, but you will always be very drunk? Did somebody send this to us? No, this is I just found it on the internet. So I would I rather get fifteen million but always be drunk? Or be able to control your dreams or just get fifty thousand and it's just fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Hey, I don't wanna be drunk all the time. Fifty thousand. Shit. Give me that fifteen mil. You be drunk Let me get time. lit lit like a motherfucker. <laughs> Cause then you never hung over. You're just always drunk. <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you can afford a drunk, show. Drunk Dion is fun as fuck. You can afford a, uh, you, I've never seen you drunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see you drunk. <laughs> drunk Dion was a hell of a good time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was 15 million and drunk all the fucking time, bro. <laughs> Okay. But it's very drunk, so like I assume it's noticeable. I don't give a fuck. I got 15 mil. You can't tell me shit. For a good lawyer. And another thing. <laughs> and another thing, motherfucker. I never did like you. If you fuck with him, you don't fuck with me. I done told you that when I was sober. Now I'm drunk and I'm really about to tell your motherfucker now. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with him. I don't fuck with his grandmama, that funky ass, long toenail having that bitch. <laughs> fuck all y'all. Give me another drink. <laughs> Good. Next, would you even need a drink if you were always drunk? <laughs> I, yes. Good. Good. Ahead. Okay. Next, damn. BT trying to rush me. Would mm-hmm. you rather? Wait, Dion. Do you have like a pet or anything? No. Okay. This one probably. Okay. Would you rather eat a human stranger or eat your dog? A human stranger. <laughs> I eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> a human stranger. No, I don't want to eat people. The but smell of burning flesh is disgusting. Yeah, like a steak. No, it's not like a <laughs> steak at all. 
<laughs> Have you never smelled burning flesh before? Wait, no. Why oh. would I? Why would I smell burning flesh? I don't know. I figure you've been all around the world. You surprised me. Auschwitz. <laughs> oh, man, that's cold. Buddy. We got to get shut down now. <laughs> you know who controls the media. <laughs> okay. No, I would rather eat a, a pet. No, nah, I'd rather eat a person. <laughs> I ain't got the, uh, I have the two TD uh, appetizer. I need place. some Worcestershire sauce Damn. on this dingling. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, 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 get the, I get the nipples on the Barbie. <laughs> so just go on fear fact. I get the nipples on the Barbie. <laughs> and um, mm, that's enough. Fucking Jeffrey Dahmer over <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> Last question. And some ribs. <laughs> <And> some ribs. <laughs> if you could shape shift in and out of any animal, what would you pick? Oh, that's a good one. A oh. bird. A bird? <laughs> I think it's an animal human hybrid, so you would kind of be like a human, but like have wings. It wouldn't just be like straight bird. Uh, that's not. Oh, so like I had to pick an animal to like have their features or, or do I have to come just, I have to make a pact with an animal and I'm, I can transfer into the animal anytime I want to. Okay, it says, okay, there are only human limitations and you can do partial transformations. Oh, partial, partial transformations. Okay. Um, I half man, half <coughs> giraffe. <laughs> and that would be... That'd be like, uh, that, uh, you know, it'd be like a, a large minotaur, wouldn't it? No, that would be terrible. Uh, have a half man. Man half. and giraffe, your proportions would be... Yo, how about you know gorilla? How your back would hurt? How about gorilla? Man, just the, forearms. The strength of gorilla. And they walk like midgets there, like they have bad hips. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Gorillas <laughs> like, walk like midgets, like they have bad hips, like, like, an old, <laughs> like, like an old janitor, you know? <laughs> oh, you kids are always stopping at the goddamn toilets, you know what I mean? They're always walking like this. You see the one where they were filming these gorillas, right? And one came and he, he I mean, so nonchalant, he grabbed this dude. And drug him like just a couple feet and let him go. Just like it's just a fuck with him, and he went on his way. He never looked. He just grabbed him <laughs> and drug. And the dude just went like this. Like, he didn't fight him. I guess they. Nah, knew, I guess they if you do, they fuck. It's over. It's over. They do not like their authority challenge. That strength of a gorilla. Fuck. Look, see, I, I would probably pick a bird, like an eagle. I would just just for the flight. No, nah, gorilla. I gotta pick a gorilla. Get some talons. Yeah. Maybe catch some salmon that's with my feet. Ass, that's, that's a hot ass midget right there. Hold on. <laughs> They're called little people now, BT. Yeah, stop okay. saying that. You're going to get his kids. I just, I just made it little Which one? Which one uh, is high? Probably when, the underage one. You know what, man? Fuck you. <laughs> <Just> underage, <laughs> under height. <laughs> I'm going to jail twice. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she was, a, she was an adult. She must be this high to ride this dirt. <laughs> Have you seen that, um, that video of that? Uh, <laughs> she's... 22, but she's trapped in a nine-year-old's yes. body. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't watch Smoking. that. Smoking. I couldn't watch that. I couldn't watch like, it. We don't allow kids at the bar. <laughs> I'm 21, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me see them titties. <laughs> <laughs> see some nine-year-old titties. You know, something's wrong with you. We got her drinking and shit. Like she, like she, like there's nothing wrong. She's with an her. adult. She's allowed to drink. She's an adult. She just now. looks like a fucking kid. Ugh. That, ugh. Poor thing. You gotta set her up at Hasbulla. You know Hasbulla. You know who Hasbulla is? Hasbulla, the fucking terrorist no, organization. No, no, the one that. No, the uh, he's a he's a little uh, little guy. There he is. There he is. Oh. Yeah, set her up with him. I don't like him. He's a cocky little shit. I, 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 he's funny to me. Look at that one right there. It's all muscled up. Holy moly! <laughs> that <one>. <laughs> <laughs> look at that head on that motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga has no wrists whatsoever. <laughs> but look at his head on that motherfucker, man. <laughs> like, bro, where are your wrists? Oh, man. You can punt that dude. No, you can't. Nigga, you kick that. It's like kicking a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's abs. You're not finna <laughs> kick that shit. He, you ought to set him up with that 21-year-old girl. I mean, that one. The 22? That, yeah. I, mean, I don't think she wants a little person, bro. That's messed up. She wants a, real, a full-size person? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you were a little person, wouldn't you want a full size person? It's almost it's like setting up, you know, it's like setting up two fat people together. Like, what, <laughs> what, what are we going to do besides what makes, you, what makes you think I wanted somebody fat? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're fat. There she is. I mean, I don't, she's not, she's not really hot. You think she's hot? She's not unattractive, but I'm not attracted to her. But she smokes, right? Does she smoke? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's Senator Grove. <laughs> 
No, nah, I, think, <laughs> I, I think I had to go. That was so easy. But I had to go there. It was right there. That's what, to me. That's what makes her unattractive. And it's not the fact. It's not the fact she has a body of a sixth grader. It's the fact that oh she smokes. Oh my god! The fact. Why are you saying that out loud, bro? What is wrong with you? What? It's not that she has the body of a six-year-old. I don't it, find that unattractive. It's, yeah, you should. It's find the that fact that she smokes. It's the fact she smokes. What are you? God. What, bro? What are, all right, this has been another episode. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, man! Is that the last one, Malik? Jesus, that was the last fucking question. Christ, dude, it's what is back. wrong with you? At the last one, Licky Lick. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> when they come take you away, I'm not gonna be surprised, Emma. Whatever, man. I mean, I don't think you understand, bro. No, I don't think you understand. Yeah. Man, I you know what? I can't. This is gonna be the last time I see you until April, bro. I know. It's kind of. It's kind of sad. I mean, I'm gonna be gone in February for like about two week, three weeks. So, but this man, I, don't, I won't see you for a minute, bro. It might be longer than that. Why? If you might get picked up. It might be longer than that. I don't know. Okay. I might not want to come back to this motherfucker. Well, you don't I like. Might it. just be like, you know what? But you don't like Atlanta anyway, do you? No, I don't. You, you were gonna say you didn't like the South. I, why, why? I, what do you mean? Why? Yeah, I mean, why don't you? The, like the history South? of it. Well, I mean, no, it's all about the people me. that live down there. <laughs> As you go down there. <laughs> I mean. Mm-hmm. There are cool people everywhere. There's assholes everywhere. It's the South. I, I do not. Uh, I, I don't particularly care for the lifestyle. Of, okay, I can get you. I get you. You know, Atlanta has no zones. That's his problem. There's no zone. Like here in so, Indy, there's zones everywhere. So there's a strip club, school, church, right? Yeah, next it's to each just other. like this nice Popeyes. house, crackhead, <laughs> nice house, and and you're like, what? What the fuck? No one tells you. There's no warning. It's just like, this is regular, regular, fucked up. Mm. Super rich, like the, I need my shit to be like here. It's like don't go to the east side. Yeah, everybody knows if you go over there. Good luck. Yeah, you know up north is where all the rich people stay. Yeah, they like to look down on the people in Greenwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Like Carmel, Carmel people are fucking assholes. Yeah, they really are. Hamilton County is the richest county in the state. It's not really saying much. It's Indiana, it's not really saying much. There's a lot of money here, bro. It's not a lot of money. I mean, it's money. There's a every, lot. Every of place money. has a lot of money. Every place. I mean, any city has a lot of money in some certain certain places. Every place you go. No, you know, per- some cities are completely broke. No, like what? City? Most of those cities are in the south. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> what, like what cities are completely broke? I mean, where you go? Oh, there's got to be okay. Ten richest states in America. Ten richest states in America. Let's see what it is. Ten richest states in America. Virginia, of course. You think so? To all the tobacco, yeah. <clears throat> so it's got to be North Carolina. Has to be in that motherfucker too. Ten rich states. Okay. God, I hate when they do that because it takes forever to, to oh, load yeah, up. Yeah, you got to click the fucking. Yeah, it's all clickbait. Bait. Yep. Mm-hmm. We said it on together. And let's see. Let's see. Ten rich states. I'm going to say. I know Texas has to be number one, I think. I think Texas is number one. I'm, I'm just going to say. California. I'm going to say Texas. I'm going to say Texas. I'm going to say Texas is the richest state. All that oil money. California is the fifth largest economy, bro, in the world. It's California. I'm going to say Texas. I'm going to say. You're going to be wrong. Here we go. D.C., Maryland, New Jersey, Texas Hawaii. Is 25th. Wow. No, this is the that's median income. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say. Yeah. That's not it. Yeah, and and D.C.'s not a state. No, but D.C. is expensive as fuck because all the Wall Street. Dude, I need to move to Puerto Rico. You don't. You can. Yeah, but Puerto Rico's really messed up. But they're, they're, but they're trying to give incentives for people like from here to move there, and they're screwing over the, the natural people. I mean, that you know, what I mean, that the ones that are the natural Puerto Ricans. Yeah, the natural Puerto Ricans. The non-American Puerto Ricans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the richest state. Here we go. Oh, I hate this shit right there. Okay, here we go. Richest state by me. I told you. Look, go oh, go back, Malik. Uh, I saw I saw Texas in there. Illinois is rich. Oh, here, we go. here are the 10 richest states. New York, Massachusetts. California, number one. Washington. I told you. Okay, California. Texas, number two. Okay, we're one and two. New York, Florida, Illinois. Look at white boy Wyatt doing the most white boy of things. What's up, Wyatt? He, this man is on a t-shirt and shorts in 21 degree weather. That's, yep, that's white boy Wyatt right there. He's been sweating because it looks like he went running or something yeah. playing basketball. Right. Just being white. There you go. Well, there Ugh. you go. Ten richest states. I like that. Florida, New York. Yeah, the top five most trouble causing states are the richest. <laughs> yeah, ones. well, makes sense. <laughs> Fucking California, makes Texas, sense. Florida. I can't believe Mississippi's not up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's damn near at the bottom. It is the bottom. <laughs> I know. I do. And West Virginia's like, hold on, hold my beer. <laughs> Arkansas is like, hold on. I even Idaho's low. 
Idaho is the Mississippi of the Northwest. Dude, fucking Georgia or yeah, Georgia would be down there if it wasn't for Atlanta. Yeah, I know. All right. It's just because of the South. Uh, Let's wrap it up. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah. Hey, if we have any Southern viewers, thanks so much for watching. No, we really I, look, <laughs> I I love y'all. Don't like the place you live. I don't like Indiana that much either, to be honest with you. And I'm from here, born and raised. Yeah. So, yeah, so. I was supposed to be born in Oceanside, California, but we had to move back here. Yeah, you would have been a Cali boy. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah, you got to be pissy. Yeah, I'm a little shitty. That's what you should be. I mean, the greatest human of all time is born in Indiana. So, you know. Who's that? Michael Jackson, nigga. Oh, you ain't got to say it like that. Michael motherfucking Jackson. Okay. Well, that's great then. Get it, me, I see it. Well, man. Good luck in Atlanta. We're gonna thank be you, uh, sp- we're gonna be split screening this uh, coming up in. We about- will be doing yeah the show. It will continue, guys. Yes. Don't worry. And please spread the word. Yes. I mean, if on the bottom line, please we spread need the to word. Get our subscribers up. I don't understand. I don't know what our subscribers are on the podcast, but on YouTube, it's uh, it's not that good. Should be a lot better. It's. I mean, it really should. I think we have the best podcast. I really. I sincerely we believe that the best podcast out there. What we do, I don't think anybody else does what we do. How we do. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. So, I mean, we got a great sound producer, <laughs> engineer, that is. Um, you know, I do more than just the sound, my guy. What, what do you do? You rate? I put the, I put the, I put the whole video together. Oh, good job. Yeah. Anyway, our sound got, engineer <laughs> yeah, and got, video yeah, producer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and laugh track. I mean, so we pre- thank him and and me and you. I do so more than fucking yeah. sound, my guy. So yeah, man. I'm pre- hey, what's up, guys? So yeah, he man. had a very fuck you quality to yeah. that. <laughs> no. I do more than sound, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't chase him away with what the fuck do you do? <laughs> so, all right, no, man. fuck him. That guy. Yeah. Fuck, he didn't do shit when he got here. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> anyway, we're out of here. We gotta go. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Uh, no matter what you listen to or watch, if you watch it on YouTube, we appreciate it. If you listen to it on uh Stitcher, Apple, Google Play, uh Spotify. We appreciate you. We thank you. We got to go. I'm Deion Curry. I'm BT. And like we say about this time, you know the word. Peace.